Hey guys, it's Zima from Demostech and today we're checking the Nokia 2720 Flip 2019 model. So obviously this is not exactly the newest phone that you'd expect from me, right? But I bought it for my father because he well, he's just not comfortable with touch and he actually has the same model of this phone but an older version. So this is the phone itself and basically this phone supports pretty much everything you know. I mean it supports 4G, it supports Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube, even Google Assistant and it's not a touch. Obviously it's Nokia so it does have a snake game. And the most important, I guess, that it's not touch for my father because it's pretty much the same like what he has right now and he should be comfortable with that. So let's check what else we have in the box. We have obviously some booklets and everything, the usual. And here's the charger. There's one thing that I just don't like here and it's that the charger is actually a micro USB as you pretty much can see right now and that's pretty much the only bad thing that I can say about the phone. Now it doesn't run Android, it actually runs what's called KaiOS. So let's turn it on for a moment and as you can see it catches fingerprints very easily in those glossy places, less on that and the buttons are very clear and good. Now they're pretty big so that should be awesome for older people. Well my father is pretty old and this will be awesome for him. He will probably appreciate the big keyboard here and it should be easy and pretty much the same way to use it as he uses the older version right now. So the KaiOS takes kind of a long time to boot but that's fine and the old a nice Nokia logo, even the sound should come up in a moment. And as you heard, the Nokia sound, which is kind of nostalgic. Well, it's not exactly the same like it was, it's a little bit different. Let's move aside everything. So for some reason, by default, it jumped to Hebrew. Oh, and by the way, if you look closely here, you have two sims so you can pretty much use two sim cards i'm going to set it for english right now just for this unboxing everything and for my sake but later on i'm going to set it on russian for my father because it will be much easier for him i'm running through the languages basically so you can see all the languages that it does support and pretty much i'll stop on english us let's choose that one Hit select English US. We can select other keyboards as well. We're not going to do that now. Setup wizard will possibly okay. Searching for networks. Well, you can actually connect it to Wi Fi. I'll do that later, not right now. We'll just keep that for now. Uh, date and time. We're going to pretty much leave it for now. Accessibility mode. Well, let's do accept and you can create some sort of IC profile, I'm not really sure what it is. I'll skip it, I'll soon probably reformat it and then I'll configure it for my father. Let's hit OK, welcome, let's accept that. And oh, it can even contain an SD card. That's awesome, so my father can listen to music on the go or something like that. And if you're wondering, we have a, I think it's a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack, not a 3.5, but that is good as well. So let's go through some basics. So as you can see, we have regular calls, we have contacts, store, they actually have some probably apps there. I'm going to check that later. And we have a Google Assistant, which is kind of awesome. We have YouTube, we have Google Maps, and obviously we have Snake, we have WhatsApp, Facebook, obviously a camera. It's a 2 megapixel camera, 
but I've seen some photos and actually it's quite nice. I mean, for such a phone that costs around 100 US dollars, I think a little bit more. Uh, gallery, obviously, we can play some videos. Messages, obviously, you have a Google search. Not really sure what exactly it supports. And you have even a web browser. You can set an email. Pretty much you can work with that phone. You have even Twitter, that's awesome. Music, obviously, FM radio. Settings, file manager, calendar. All the good stuff is here. Even a recorder. Unit converter. Oh, wow. That's actually good. Oh, there's a pre installed game. And another one. And another one. So there are three pre installed games. You know what? I want actually to launch the only game that we all love, right? Let's try it. The snake. Now, obviously, it's a redesigned snake. It's not the same snake that we all knew back in the 90s. And apparently, Gameloft now owns it. Do you want sound? Let's hit yes. Oh, uh, the sound is kind of... Let's check if it's the highest volume. That's the highest volume. Kind of nice. Really sure how to play. Think you're supposed to play. Oh, so yeah. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm pretty bad at it, as you can tell. So I think I'm getting kind of better. You know what? Oh, I can't still die. It's too short to die. I want to actually pretty much kill itself. But no, I can't do that yet. Oh, victory? Seriously? Okay, whatever. We have WhatsApp, we have... Okay, you know what? Let's check the camera. Let's launch the camera. Let's see how that works. Uh, camera would like to know your location. Oh, it actually has a GPS inside as well. That's kind of awesome. Let's hit OK. Oh, the camera is... yeah. The camera is here. On the bottom. So I'm not really sure how comfortable that is. Let's... let's bring something. So I brought Yoda. And... now let's put it somewhat here. Let me try to take a pretty good photo of it. And see what we can do. Okay, and let's see if we can... Oh, and did you see that? I actually tried to touch the preview. That's not going to work. So, that's the photo. Honestly, it's kind of bad. The lighting is bad. It's only 2 megapixels. Uh, it's just not enough colors. And apparently there is some ghosting, but well, it didn't really move that much. Uh, you have zoom, so... So sure why would you zoom in such a photo but you can and it's not that good anyways that's not the whole purpose of that phone the real purpose is to be a simple phone yet have pretty much most of the modern features that's the whole idea here this is pretty much a short unboxing of a redesigned nokia 2720 flip it also supports 4g it has two nano sims and an SD card. Quite an awesome form. So I'm going now to reformat it and reconfigure for my father and hopefully he'll really like it because right now he doesn't even know that I bought it for him. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.